Okay, so in the previous video we have created our grenade. Now the grenade can explode and it can give damage to the objects surrounded. Now in this video what we will do we will add the throwing animation to the player and also we will make the player throw the grenade. Okay, so for that first of all we will be needing the animation so on Miximo.com if you search for the throw animation right here you will find this animation which is by the name of throw as well if you click on it this is the animation let's make the drive overdrive of it to for example 80 because I want this animation to be fast like this okay then just simply click on download and change the format to FPX for unity and the skin to without skin click download and once it is downloaded click on player model animations and right here let's click on show in explorer open up the animations folder and right here we will cut this animation and paste it then if we open up unity let's find the animation which is this one right here throw let's click on its rig make it humanoid copy from other avatar and let's select Erica Archer in there click apply if you click on animation now and as you can see this is the animation okay let's make the body orientation original click on begin to pose and right here make the center of mass if it is original click apply that is it Okay, let me select the animation again let me actually rename this to throw then let's click on the player animator okay right here let's make a bool by the name of grenade in air then let's drag and drop this animation right here then we'll make a transition from the basic locomotion to throw and from throw to basic locomotion and right here what we will do we will remove as exact time and we will set the grenade in here to true and right here we will set this to false okay in the next transition which is going back to the locomotion so make sure that you do that okay don't get confused in it so now once you attach the transition like this then let's open up the rifles folder which is inside the scripts folder okay scripts rifles and right here let's create a new C sharp script by the name of grenade thrower let's click on player and we will attach this script to the player okay so let's try and drop it and guys I just noticed this issue okay we have added the effect example unity package but that package messed up our layers as you can see we don't have the layers right here it just remove all of the layers okay as you can see but don't worry about this we will add this layer again in the next video okay for now let's focus up on our grenade thrower so let's open this up and on the grenade, grenade I mean thrower script let's create a public float by the name of throw force this will be equals to 10 then we need an area from which we will instantiate the grenade okay so we will say public transform grenade area okay then we need a reference to the grenade prefab so we will say public game object and let's name this as grenade prefab okay and also we need a reference to the animator as well and that is it then we will create a update method or function and in here we will say that 
if the player presses the mouse button okay the mouse left button so for that we will say input dot get mouse button down okay then what we will do right here we will call the throw grenade function okay but let's just first of all create the function so let's name this as throw grenade and in here we will create a game object by the name of grenade this will be equals to instantiate or instantiate now we want to instantiate the grenade so let's call the grenade prefab right here then from which position we want to instantiate it that will be the grenade area dot transform dot position and the grenade area dot transform dot rotation then as you know that to our grenade we have added the rigid body so let's get the rigid body from the grenade so for that we will create a rigid body by the name of RB and this will be equals to grenade dot get component we want to get the rigid body from it and now once we have the rigid body now to that rigid body now we will apply a force okay a throw force okay so whenever the player presses the mouse button then the grenade will be just thrown in the forward direction and we will add a throw force to that okay let me give you some presentation right here so for example don't mind my drawing okay if this is the player and from this hand the player throws the grenade okay and we will be also instantiating the grenade from this position so if the player throws the grenade okay now the grenade will move in the forward direction and its throw force will be 10 okay so that is the reason we are getting the rigid body from the grenade to apply a force to it so you will be seeing how we will apply force to rigid body for that it is simple just type rb ok which is this rigid body reference then for that for adding the force unity provide the add force function and this needs the direction in which direction we want to apply the force so that will be grenade area dot transform dot forward and we will multiply that by the throw force then we will say force mode dot velocity change and if you don't know what this force mode dot velocity change is you can check the unity documentation on it okay as you can see what this does it just add a instant velocity change to the rigid body ignoring its mass you can read more about it right here okay and you can see the examples as well okay so now we have a function which can throw grenade now we also want to play the animations as well okay so for the animations what we will do we will create a enumerator by the name of grenade animation and if you don't know about what enumerator is enumerator basically stop the execution for some time and that is what we want when throwing the grenade okay so for example when we play the grenade throw animation after that we want to call this throw grenade function okay which will apply some force to the grenade prefab okay and then of course when this throw grenade is called this will basically instantiate a grenade and after three seconds okay the grenade will simply explode okay so right here 
first of all we want to play the grenade through animations for that we will say anime dot set bool and as you know that we have created a bool by the name of grenade in air so we will say grenade in air make sure that you type the name correctly we will set this to true then after this before instantiating the grenade we want to wait for some time okay because if we just instantiate the grenade instantly then the player hand will still be in air okay the player will not be able to swing the arm okay I mean before swinging the arm to throw the grenade this grenade uh, throw grenade function will be called and it will just throw a grenade it will not look realistic so that's why we want to wait for some seconds for example let's just say 0 0.5 okay this value might be changed for your animation but don't worry I will explain this what this will do okay then after 0 0.5 seconds we want to call the throw grenade function then of course we will wait for for example one second and after the one second we will make this to false okay and the reason we are waiting for one second is we want the animation to be finished first of all and that is it so what this will do this will basically do the work which we needed so now in the function right here let's say start coroutine and in here let's call the grenade enemy and that is it so if we get back now we have the throw force now we need these three references so first of all as you know that we already have a prefab for this grenade so let's just delete this grenade from the hierarchy let's click on prefab we have the prefab right here so just simply drag and drop this in there in the grenade prefab it needs the animator so drag and drop the animator then we need the grenade area so for that inside the player main game object will create an empty game object by the name of grenade throw area okay and we will click on player and let's assign this right there okay now let's click on this grenade throw area and let's move this for example right here okay we will be moving this even more but let's just play the game and see how does it looks okay so this is the player and the player has the grenade so now if you press the fire button as you can see it is instant instant I'm sorry I'm unable to pronounce it so as you can see the grenade is being instantiated but we can't see the explosion okay there is the grenade and as you can see the grenade is now exploded okay let's throw it right there as well that is the grenade and as you can see the grenade is now working perfectly fine if you notice it okay we can throw grenades everywhere we want as you can see sometimes the grenade gets uh, inside the ground okay that is due to the colliders but that is not an issue because most of the time as you can see the grenades are working perfectly fine okay this is just due to this colliders issues with the surface but actually it is not an issue okay as you can see the grenades are working fine but sometimes it get inside the ground okay and in order to fix this issue if we select this road okay this is by the name of road so let's search for road and let's select all of the roads okay because it is going inside this road so what we will do as you can see the roads box colliders are a lot thinner okay so in order to fix this what we need to do is 
let's increase the box collider height like that to something like 0 0.03 like that let's play it and now if we throw the grenade okay it is still going inside the road let's increase it even more to 0 0.06 and now if we check it out okay, it is still going inside that just make the size y of it as minus 0 0.1 okay then this will actually fix the issue so if we play it then let's throw the grenade now as you can see the grenade stays on the ground okay so it was just an issue with the collider of the ground if you don't have this issue then you are feel free to skip this part okay but if you have this issue then make sure that your colliders are a little bit higher in the height so now we can now throw grenades but if we play the game again you will notice that the grenade is coming of the player hand but if your grenade is instantiating from some other place then make sure that your throw area matches the position of the animation when the player is swinging the arm okay for example if we duplicate this animation and set this as default okay then if we play the game let me set this to looping and when this is set to looping now as you can see the player is throwing the, I mean playing the animation again and again so when it is playing the animation again and again just simply select your throw area in the scene view and make sure that this matches the player hand position okay as you can see my one is already matching the player hand position so that's why the grenade is coming out from the player arm but I can move this a little bit down below like this okay and then before closing the game I will simply click on this dots click on copy component and then stop the game select that area click on this click on paste component values okay and then click on animator remove that click on this throw animation remove the loop time and then if we play the game again now let's throw the grenade again as you can see now the grenade is now even more perfect as if it is coming out of the player hand so with this done let's end this video right here